Hey guys, so I've got something to show you. Um, it's for Pi Day. Uh, I'm not using a Raspberry Pi. Uh, mine came too late, so I didn't use... I look a bit like... like weirdly lit there. Uh, it's like a film or something. Um, anyway, it's, uh, it's a Pi Bot, but it's not made from a Raspberry Pi. So this little guy here uh, is brilliant. I can't... he or she, I don't know. I'm going with he. I love it. Anyway, the idea is that he calculates pi and then gives you some feedback. So let's take a look at him. So this is the pi bot. He is this guy here, pi bot. Uh, he's actually an Arduino Uno. He's not a Raspberry Pi. He's got himself a 16 by two LCD display with an I2C backpack so it can be controlled by a few wires and an eight by eight LED matrix. I love those little displays. I've put it behind um, some uh, sort of transparent acrylic, uh, sort of smoky coloured, so you can't really see the individual bits that aren't displayed. So when the light's not on, you can't see that they're there. Um, it's also got a hardware debounce button. All it does is say, <laughs> say yes. And I've got a breadboard underneath here. You probably can't see it, but uh, that's just to hook all these things up to. And I've left the Arduino Uno out because I don't mind seeing it. I kind of like it. I think he's cute anyway. Uh, so let's get started. Oh, he, before I get started, actually, He's only going to calculate pi um, with about 3,000 iterations of uh, the calculation. So basically, it's not going to be very accurate. It'll probably get to around 0.010% of pi. So, well, that'll be the difference in percentage, plus or minus. I don't know which one. We'll see. Um, so if I press the button, he'll get started, and his little face is going to come up. There he is. He's working out pi as we speak. Um, and he's displaying what his current value of pi is on the LCD. So we'll give him a couple of seconds because it does take him a while. There we go. Uh, so not very accurate, 0.0011% accurate. And he did it in 10 seconds. So that's not bad. It's faster than I could do it. But it would take him around 100 seconds to get it to, down to any further accuracy that you'd really like. So this is the little guy. I'll post the code up in the video description so you can play around with it and I'll put the Fritznig thingy-ma-bob up there as well so you can have a look. So for the Pi Bot, we're using the Leibniz formula for Pi, and it's actually known as the Gregory Leibniz formula for Pi. Um, it's, they rediscovered it later on after this guy called uh, Madhava discovered it. Uh, now, essentially, this is a way of going, to, going around to getting to the value of Pi. I mean, there is no perfect value of Pi. Um, it's been said that it's uh, sort of an an infinite number so it goes on forever but you can get closer and closer to it um, except I guess you can't if it's infinite so you're infinitely far away from the end whatever uh, so this is this is the uh, the equation down here so this is the proof and this is uh, essentially how you get to it um, I'm not very good at maths so I've used somebody's uh, C conversion of this and, uh, and that's here. So it's stuck inside a for loop and it goes through the number of terms. Now, if we look back here, each one of these is a term. Uh, so in our code, we're looking at 35,000 of them at the moment. You'd need to use hundreds of thousands to get any kind of real accuracy. Um, this will probably only give us four digits or less. Um, so I would stick it on around 500,000 to get uh, around six digits of accuracy. Now, the Raspberry Pi will only give you about six or seven digits of accuracy because of its float um, limitations, so or double limitations. Uh, so this is our code here. So this just this for loop is all that's needed to calculate Pi. Everything else is to display little faces or to put code on the uh, text on the display. So um, feel free to play around with it. I haven't commented too much on it, but um, I'm sure you'll be able to figure out what you need to do. Now. This is our, our diagram of our circuit at the moment. It's pretty simple. We've got a 16 by two LCD with an ICUC backpack and that's got uh, the SLC, SCL and SDA connected to the board. We've got our LED matrix. I've marked on here the connections because I couldn't find the right model. So we've got the clock, chip select and data in uh, and they're connected up here and you can see that. And we've also got a hardware debounce button which I really hope that I've um, put on here correctly. It's possible that I haven't. Um, so you'll need to look that up just to make sure. But that's that's all there is to the project, really. It's quite simple. I've put the little Pi bot on Instructables. Uh, you can have a look in the description for the link. 
So if you'd like to vote for me, that'd be brilliant. However, I'm not, I'm not worried about that, so it's fine. The pri one of the prizes is a laser engraved rolling pin, which sounds pretty cool, uh, and some like Raspberry Pi stuff as well. So uh, anyway, thanks a lot for watching. And if you've got any ideas for stuff for Pi Day, or if you've done anything already, or if you've seen any cool projects, uh, leave them in the comments and I'll take a look. Thanks. I've got something to show you. It's uh, the... I've got something to show you. It is for Raspberry... Not Raspberry Pi Day.